another video. If you are new here, hello, my name is Liz. I'd like to welcome you to the family and I hope that you guys do enjoy this video. Before we get started, I'm gonna encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell next to it so that you guys can know when I post a video. Quick disclaimer before I start the video, I'd like to say there's nothing wrong with how you look. I'm not trying to tell you to, to look a certain way. I just wanted to try the challenge myself because I was hearing there was a lot of hype around it. Follow stuff at your own pace because it can severely hurt you if you try to do to, like to find shortcuts to your journey if you are going on a journey if you're not and you're happy with how you feel as long as you're happy it's totally fine everyone is beautiful in their own way and there is there's no need to change anything about your body or the way that you look because the world tells you to change but rather because you want to change if you want to do that be my guest go ahead this is just a journey that I wanted to take because I've been wanting to step into it and Chloe presented me with the opportunity to begin my journey to the better me that I want to be. I'm going to put in big bold words here. You are all beautiful. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. As you can already tell by the title of this video, I tried the two week shredding challenge by Chloe Ting. This challenge, I have seen it everywhere, like everywhere. YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. It's been all over the place. This girl has blown up. Chloe Ting is super popular. She's gone viral several times with her videos. And I am pretty impressed with the results that I got for this one. I'm gonna include a link down below in the description for you guys to go check her YouTube out and also her website. So we start off with day one. Day one was an extremely difficult day. I went in hardcore, I went in like ready to take on the day, ready to take on the videos and take on her challenge like it was nothing. And I took the first video, but it was like, it seemed really difficult for me. So I was pumped, I was ready, and, when, and just as I think that I'm actually finally gonna get to finish the entire day and do both videos of the, of the day, this happens. All right guys. I can barely talk. My throat is, as you can tell. <sighs> One second. <sighs> okay, so, sorry, it's really hard to speak right now. My throat is really closed up. Um, So I just <laughs> couldn't finish the second video. I couldn't even do the second video because after the first one, I started getting a severe, like, severe allergic reaction. You can still see, like, like the remnants of what, like, my swollen eye. It used to be, like, this entire part. I was, like, completely swollen. My lips were swollen. I couldn't breathe. Everything was getting itchy. I was, I was starting to get an allergic reaction. Now, it's not anything of the exercise. It's just my body. Uh, it's happened to me before. That was kind of upsetting. Now I am losing hope in the whole like first day and I'm already over here almost dying. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna do the exercises just not as bad and see how much I can lose, how much weight I can lose like that. So yeah, on to day two. So as you can see, I was not in my full sentences after that first day. I was completely done. I had to take a small break, but then I went back into it full on for day two. I ended up having to not do the first video and only stuck with the rest of the videos. This is the video that I actually ended up not doing for the full two weeks because it proved that every time that I tried to do it, it always got me to be getting an allergic reaction. I was always almost near the brink of death every time that I tried it and I tried it only like three times. I did every other one but I didn't do this one because it just was a, I think it was like a hit workout or something that was really really hard on me personally and so I had to take a break from that but days two through what is it days two through four which I am including all of this here were sort of Difficult. The first week was extremely difficult for me. I actually ended up not changing much of my diet, just eating a lot less and a lot 
don't do this actually don't do this if you're gonna eat eat healthy choose to eat healthy my habits my meals were not so healthy so i chose to lower the amount so that i could i wouldn't exceed the amount of calories that i would be burning um i wouldn't restrict my diet i would eat whatever i wanted but i did watch what i ate i i wasn't completely restrictive on my diet i had my normal food that I have every single day, I didn't go on a salad diet and um, and broccoli for the for the evenings. I didn't do any of that. I went on I stayed on my normal schedule for food. Day six, seven, and eight ended up having actually having being getting a little bit easier as they went on for me. Personally, I don't know about other people, but the first week when it was finally getting over, I was getting a lot stronger. My form was like not so good. So I was getting into a little bit more of an issue. It was a little bit more of an issue for me. By the way, the dog that you see annoying me is my little dog, Lola. She is a wiener dog, otherwise known as a Dutch scent. Sorry if I butchered the name. I have an accent, I think. Anyways, she really loves being on the mat when I was exercising. I was babysitting her a little bit because my sister was out for the evening, so I was keeping her in my room, and as I was exercising, she just loves being annoying and getting close to you on the exercise mat, the yoga mat that I had on the floor. She loves it, so she kept trying to play with me and now get ready to jump into a cross body climb uh, release get it away elbow as possible and tighten up your core guys and bite me and, and eat my hair and everything like that she's weird she loves to stare which is something <laughs> Okay, so days 10 through 12 actually ended up becoming a lot easier. This is around the time when I started trying to get to the first video that I stopped doing throughout the two weeks because I, I wanted to see if maybe it was just my stamina and maybe I was just like tired or not ready for that, those kinds of videos. But in the end, I realized that it was something more so I needed to be more careful because I would get rashes, I would start breaking out, and it was a problem. So I, I ended up just quitting it all together, and by the time that we had reached the final days, which was day 13 and 14, I actually, well, was able to finish every single video in, in the full schedule. So here, right here, is what I used to look like. I weighed 160 pounds and my waist measured at 82 centimeters. My stomach area, which is the belly button and under, actually measured in at 90 centimeters. By the end of the two weeks, I actually was not able to film a video of my stomach, but I ended up actually taking a picture of how I looked. So here is the picture. As you can see, I actually do not have the muffin top, like not as much, it's not showing as much anymore. It's a little progress, but a little goes a long way. Um, my waist measured at 80 centimeters, so I lost 2 centimeters off of that. And my stomach measured in at 87 centimeters, so I think I'm at, I lost like what? 90, 89, 3 centimeters. <laughs> so I lost three centimeters off of the stomach area. I really enjoyed the challenge. It really tested my determination and character. It was really hard. As you can see, I almost died on the first day of doing this challenge. I didn't show the full thing because I couldn't film it because I was like going into some serious problems there. So Chloe, if you're watching this, girl, you are a freaking beast when it comes to these things. And I can see, I can understand why people make fun of these videos on TikTok and they're always posting about reality versus how you look on camera because it's true that 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 is true yeah i'm talking too much so now i'm gonna say bye and i'm gonna sign off so this marks the end of the video you guys um i hope that you guys liked it it was a shorter video remember that you are beautiful in your own way there's nothing you need to change i did this personally because this is what i wanted this is my 
my goals. I have a certain goal in life of how I want to look and everybody has their goals but also everybody is beautiful in their own way. And don't try to do these things because it like because it makes you be skinny and the world tells you to be skinny. As long as you're happy, nothing else matters to be honest. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and join the family. Hit the notification bell so that you guys can know when I post a video. And make sure to comment down below if you like to exercise or not. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Bye! Love you!